Hey guys, so now that we have specified the endpoint for our Lambda function, we can come back over here to API Gateway and we can uh, test our endpoint with Postman. And if you don't know what Postman is, it's basically a very useful tool that allows for you to test your backend if you don't have a front end yet. And now that's very helpful because you don't want to start working on your nice front end until you're absolutely sure that your backend is working. And you can get this URL by coming over here to stages, go to the stage that you created, I created mine as production, and double click on this over here and it will get you to this screen. Um, before we start though, I have found two errors in our Lambda code. So make sure you go back to your Lambda code. And here um, on line 27, we did not uh, complete the uh, quotations so I'm gonna have to add quotations we did not complete the quotations here as well and also here in line 11 this should be uh, b64 dot decode so it's not decoded so the image is going to be base 64 dot b64 decode now uh, deploy the changes and let's wait um, Okay, so the changes have been deployed. So now we can actually uh, go back to our API gateway. We can copy our URL. So I'm going to copy the URL. I'm going to come over here to Postman. I'm going to specify that I want to do a post request to the URL that I just copied. Remember for the headers, we had to set the content type to be application X image. So I'm going to specify application X image and for the body we're sending base 64 encoded data so click on binary over here and let's choose some files and these files are the ones that I downloaded from uh, Kaggle from the validation data set so our image classifier has not seen these images yet these are the same images by the way that I have tested um, our model on with the confusion matrix and classification report except that these ones are not resized as you can see they're black and white um, and they're not resized so we'll see if SageMaker actually does the automatic resizing for us so I'm gonna come over here um, let's look at uh, this one for example this is a normal image so it should return no pneumonia And awesome, it returned no pneumonia with a 99% probability. Awesome, now let's try one that does show pneumonia. So let's look at this one. As you can see, we selected the new file and we detected pneumonia with a 99% probability. This is pretty cool. And actually, we can come back over here to our Amazon and we can go to CloudWatch I want to do two things. I first want to show you uh, how awesome these um, CloudWatch logs can be because they show you uh, even the Lambda invocation. So go to Log Groups and type in here um, Lambda. Actually, we already have our Lambda over here, the call endpoint. And as you can see, this is the latest. So as you can see, this is the image we've sent. Uh, this is the inference. So we can store these uh, Lambda logs basically in some kind of database if we were like an enterprise uh, company and we could analyze our logs and everything. Um, for now, what I want you to do is go to SageMaker and delete your endpoint. Because remember, we don't want to incur charges. So just go to SageMaker, go to Endpoints, and then just delete your endpoint because uh, it's going to be really easy for us to redeploy a new endpoint. I just don't want you guys to be uh, paying extra money. All right, see you guys in the next video.